Hello everyone. I'll be solving the maths A level paper AS, and this is S one November October November twenty twenty nine seven zero nine five one. So this is component five one. One thing that you have to remember that this paper is for fifty marks, and this is going to be for one hour fifteen minutes. So you'll have approximately five to six questions that you have to do in this given time, one hour fifteen minutes, and it's not going to be that easy. So if you're not in good practice. This is going to cause problems and you will have problems in completing the paper. So make sure you have done enough past papers and you're in good practice and the time management is right spot on. I'll be making videos question by question. So that's going to be convenient for people who do not want to see the whole solution for the whole paper. And they just want to directly jump onto the, some certain questions in which they are facing problems in. Okay, now question number one, two ordinary fair dice, one red and the other blue are thrown. Event A is the score on the red die is divisible by three. So if I have the two dice over here, I have red die, I have the possible outcomes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now event A is the score that's divisible by three. So that means if I get a three, 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 three over here with all the other numbers from the blue die, like one, three, two, three, 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 four, three, five, three, six, three, then they are going to be all divisible by three because it's just event A is the score on the red die, not on the blue. So it's irrelevant whatever the score is on blue die. We're just looking at the red die. The red die has to be divisible by three. So that means it's going to be divisible by three if I get all the three, six threes over here. It's going to be divisible by three if I get six sixes over here. Six, 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 six. So if we need to find the property of, if we need to state the property of event A, event A will be, there are six threes over here, six sixes over here, six plus sixes, that's 12, 12 over 36 will be the property of event A only. Event B is the sum of the two scores is at least nine. So now since this says about the sum of the two scores from the red and the blue, you're adding them up. So that means you have a plus sign over here, showing that you're going to add them up. So one plus one is two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you complete this by just adding them up. Okay, so I've done this. I've done the sample space before adding the scores up. And this is, these are the scores that I'm getting. So there are total 36 scores. Now event B is the sum of the two scores is at least nine. So event B at least nine, I have one, two, three, Four. Now remember, if it's at least nine, that means the probability of X is greater than or equal to nine. So at least nine means any number that's nine or greater than nine. So it can be 10 and it goes on 11 and the total, the highest score we're getting over here is 12. So we have one, two, three, four, four nines. We have one, two, three tens, two elevens and one twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So total, we have 10 such scores, which are greater than nine, at least nine out of 36. Now it says find the probability, part A says find the probability of A intersection B. So that means it's gonna be in common to both A and B. Now event A is divisible by three, event B is at least nine. So it has to be a number that is divisible by three and is also at least nine. So that's gonna be nine which is divisible by three and at least nine, another nine, another nine, another nine, and then 10 is not divisible by three, 11 is not divisible by three, and we have 12. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five such numbers of so probability of A intersection B will be five over 36. That's the answer to the first part. Now part B, it says hence, determine whether or not events A and B are independent. For this, we have to check one condition. That's property of A multiplied by probability of B is equal to probability of A times A intersection B. That's gonna be A intersection B. A intersection B. If that statement over here is true, then yes, we conclude that they are independent events. So we got probability of A. The property of A event was 12 over 36. And remember what property of A was? It was that it's divisible by at least three. 
So we got six threes and six sixes. We added them up, we got 12 over 36. Now, probability of event B is, is at least the score on the sum, the, the sum of the scores on the two dice is at least a nine. And how many were we getting? We, we got this as 10 over 36. Now that, the left-hand side, if that's equal to the answer that we got in part one, the probability of A into section B, which was five over 36, then you will conclude that they are independent. If you calculate this, we get this as five over 54. And this is five over 36, which is not equal. So our answer is hence not independent events non-independent. So that's question number one done. And then I'll make another video for question number two.